Hello, I'm your host, Ruminate Princess. Welcome to the Rabbit Hole. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Here we have Woman Over 35 Hitting the Wall, Part 16. Okay, let's go. The guy that I was going out with texted me today to tell me that I'm too fat for him and that I'm a project and I shouldn't be dating or trying to meet new people because of how I look. Happy Monday. Truth hurts. And... What it is, the older that you get, a lot of people don't have time to sugarcoat things. Whilst when you was in your prime years, men were more patient with you. Because they understood that, you know, this is probably you being your honest self in your prime years. But now that you're past that, you should know better and be doing better. And if that doesn't seem to even reflect in your action or how you speak or your attitude... Well, really, who has patience for someone who's been like this for over a decade? Hello! Hello out there! Does anybody want a wife? I'm single! <laughs> I ain't got no kids! I could cook, kinda. Your mama gonna love me! People, people say I'm funny! Is anyone alive out there? This is what it's really like hitting the wall. The thing is, when modern females hit the wall, they will make it seem as if there is zero options out there. But guess what? Is the same exact mindset that got them to the wall, they still have. Which is why they never seem to budge, ever. Which is why even when men are interested in them in their age bracket, they either reject them or they just don't approach them. Because from afar, you could already see that those baggages are still a heavy burden to her own life. And nobody wants that because that baggage become your burden. And who even wants that? So, what? I mean, I mean shit, I'm, I'm just really trying to holler at you for real, for real. Holler at me for what? You, you said what? Holler at me for what? I mean, you're pretty... Oh, you got a nice smile. Oh, oh I love your personality. Oh, that's oh, you cute. Don't... What I don't understand is, is how do women who are 35 plus don't understand that who you are plays a huge part in the type of men that you attract? And how you choose to be also plays a big part in the fact that you have hit the wall. When a man sees that he now needs to understand and actually put together in his mind why is it that you're here and what choices have you made and are you even going to be honest about it? So everything that really comes out your mouth is always going to be, what, 70% true, untrue? It's always a gamble when a woman hits a certain age and she's still single. So at the end of the day, how likely is a man going to take you serious when you haven't been taking yourself serious all those years? This is bullshit. <laughs> what is it? This is bullshit. Modern females, when they hit the wall, it's as if they can't comprehend why they have hit the wall. It's as if they still don't understand why they are unmarried and have no children and have no husband. Not even a lifelong partner or companionship. They can't seem to add one, add one. You think simple maths, basic maths, somehow could equate to a real resolution to your own life, but to them it doesn't. Because when they sum it up, the reasons why, they don't like the answer. So they have to go round and round trying to figure out a new answer to their own failures. And that's why they will just never move. And that's why you'll find them on TikTok. All having this outlet and crying about their miserable life. Because guess what? They don't even want to get to reasoning with themselves. And they rather cry about it than actually get to the core and the problem about it. To my princesses. There comes a time in your life where you know that this is going to be your last round. And this is going to be the last time that you can actually make the effort to be the best that you can be. And not just to find a man and find a husband. Because of course, those are the things that you're going to want. But for yourself. And what it is, is that 
modern females, they don't care about being a better person. And they don't care about being a better woman. They don't care about any of the things that are actually important to them. What they do care about is all the things that will give them a ticket to hit the wall faster than ever before. But whilst they're taking that trip, it's a fun trip until it stops. So my point is, being a better person, it may not always be as fun as modern females love to put it. But at the end of the day, you will have more of a meaningful life. And that comes with growth and character and wisdom and knowledge. And what would you rather have? Only you can tell yourself that. To my princes. It will always go over their heads. Because every time the truth hits them, every time they see the truth coming, every time they see their actions coming, they will duck. That's why it will continuously go over their heads. Because they don't want to face it. There has to come a time in life where we have to really acknowledge what it is and that it's going to be that way for a long time. And that it only gets worse for them because they really think that as long as they try and stay in the game and continue to play the field, that life will magically manifest what they've always longed for. And that never really comes. So they either just have to settle, which is horrible to say, But when I say settle, it's not the fact that the men that they choose to be with, they're settling. No, it's the fact that they have this ideal, this man that they can't seem to get because of whatever reason that they want to extract from him, their games and their ways never actually gets them there. And because it's never coming from a real place. And no man wants a two-faced female in their life as a wife as a parent to raise their children and they never really actually get to the core problem of why they're even two-faced let alone a modern female so there's things that they will never choose to resolve and that's because of their own lack of wanting to take accountability because it always comes down to what they want and them never actually being realistic with how they are and who they are and who they will attract to my fellow princes and princesses, here's a quote from Down a Rabbit Hole. Somehow you strayed and lost your way, and now there'll be no time to play, no time for joy, no time for friends, not even time to make amends. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!